Murphy and Johnny Gill. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Two Bears, One Cave. I'm Tom Segura. And his phone number yeah. is 818-275-5526. <laughs> and I'm Burt Kreischer, and my phone number is 323-208-0844. Thank you, P. Diddy, for getting us in touch with these awesome phone numbers. Now, if you want to talk to us, you can text us, it's and we can so chat. It's so cool. The thing is, I've always wanted to connect with my fans, and I'm just looking for another way to do it. So I thought, <laughs> <laughs> how about just give out my phone number? Yeah, I think it's one of the best things that's ever... You know, this is my dream, right? Yeah. I did this for real. I got an extra phone line and almost released it on Rogan's, and you guys were like, that's a really bad idea. Yeah, but now... That Diddy and Ashton and Sebastian are involved. Sebastian? We, Have you ever texted with Sebastian? Yes. Not a long texter. Nah. Nah. <laughs> yeah. He, I asked a question. What? I'm like, I'm, it's written. Yeah, Just it's read a, it again. What? What? <laughs> hey, did you see the episode I did with Sebastian on Something's Burning? I saw part of it, yeah. Where I beat him? Yeah, I did see oh, that. Oh, my God. How good did that feel? It felt so... But he took that so serious. I had so much he fun. He really was like, kind of depends what you're in the mood for. Yeah, Dude, it's, can I tell you, our burgers, did we talk about this on the last Something's Burning? Or on the last uh, Two Bears, One Cave? I feel like I have I too know. many podcasts. I know. I don't think so. I, 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 I think our burgers were indicative of our stand-up. Meaning? If you look at my burger. It's over the top. Four patties, cooked in bacon grease. Onions, mustard, special sauce, held together by a flimsy little piece of bamboo. It's totally burnt. So, uh, completely unhealthy, but tastes great in your mouth. And then Sebastian's perfectly put together, just yeah. fucking beautiful. The best ingredients, top notch. A little dry. A little dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you ever think about having? Do you think ever think we'll have guests on this podcast? Uh, I've I've thought it, and I've thought that it's a resounding no. I think so too. I think I feel like I feel like we could we could have other buddy teams. Like I had a dream about Matt Damon yeah. and Ben Affleck coming on our show. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. How great would it be if we got Ben Affleck to fall off the wagon? I what? Never mind. Don't you think that would be something awesome? Ooh, I wonder if Ben Affleck has a number. Maybe. I mean, another duo is about, you know what I kind of like the idea of? What? Getting somebody excited to be on and then just never following through for them. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love that when someone's like, I want to be on your podcast. You're like, and I want to have you on. Yeah. But it's just not going to work out. I'm, there's so, there, are, there are three people I can think of right now that I've texted with for about a year yeah. and never had on my podcast. How do you put them off? What do you do? I you know what it is? It's like, I just... I, I I text with them, and if I text with someone, I, they're never going to end up on my podcast because <laughs> they you, they need to text with like Leanne or Reg or Andrew or Halston. But like, well, if it goes straight to me, it just fucking gets left. But don't I'm they so, just go like, "Can I come on?" I know. What I do know. you say? I always go, "Yeah, we got to make that happen." I, there's Eric Griffin just texted me yesterday. He's like, "When are we going to podcast?" Um, fucking Cheeto Santino. At fucking, I want, every time I run into him, when are we going to podcast? And he's like, dude, tell me when. And I just, it's like I never, I have the worst follow through. I have the worst follow through. I'm surprised I got married. <laughs> By the way, how was your blowjob? I saw Push talking about giving you a blowjob. Yeah. I, I was like, Tom got a blowjob too? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I have you and Leanne to thank. I have you and Push to thank. Yeah, yeah, they were they were really hoeing it up that week. Holy shit, Liam was like, I feel like I you you earned it. I was like, oh, that's what that's a, that's how you want a blowjob. You don't want it to be out of passion. You want it to be out of debt. Yeah. Or or like or like, huh? 
I need a pack of cigarettes. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. No, it was good. And then I was like, just turn over. You know what I want to do. So <laughs> we got. <laughs> Have you. Uh... I'm waiting for my fucking emails. Still. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's it's. I can't wait. Your number once again, 818. Can you make sure you get this real big? You didn't even cover my face with it. 818-275-5526. What are you going to text back to people if people write to you? Um, are you gonna are you gonna interact with fans? Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah. If look, I mean, uh, people start reaching out. Yeah, I'm going to. Oh, I think that's so much fun. You know, I'm gonna over interact with fans. You are the worst. I person. bet I get blocked by people. Yeah, I bet people are like, hey man, lose my number. They had one of these a long time ago called Say Now. I got a good. I got good advice for you. If you start texting with Bert, be like, hey, the machine. <laughs> hey man, I want to get a drink with you, man. <laughs> Stuff like that. I gave this woman who had cancer my phone number one time. Okay. They were, we were in, I was in this old Cincinnati funny bone. Or maybe it's the same one it is, still is. But I was in the Cincinnati funny bone. And there were these three women were all wearing uh, the same shirt. And I was like, hey, what is this, a family reunion? And they're like, uh, no. And I was like, well, what's up with the shirts? And they're like, you're not reading them apparently. And I was like, no. They're all pink shirts with the big breast cancer awareness thing. And I, as they say that, my, I can hear my brain going, you fucking idiot. You maybe should have learned Dude, this shirt. Do you know what happened to me? What? So, you know that shirt company, Homage? And oh, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing a Sober October shirt with Homage. So, they do great shirts. Yeah, they okay? do awesome fucking shirts. And they're out of Ohio. And uh, <laughs> so, they have a lot of different sports things. And, and I was, like, really into them for a minute. I was, I was buying a bunch of their shirts. So, one of the shirts that they sell was had this kid's image on it like a face oh and i just bought it and wore it and i wore it on something i think on television so i get contacted and they're like not by them by somebody who was like hey um i saw you wearing that shirt and uh, you're gonna be in columbus and uh, a bunch of people there saw you wearing that shirt so they want to come to the show and i was like okay like cool. sure come to the show it was at the columbus funny bone so i go do the show when i finish the show i'm going back to the green room and someone on the staff is like hey so they're here and i was like who's here and they're Fuck. like remember the family from the from the homage shirt and i was like uh family and they're like yeah you remember you wore that shirt i go yeah and they go well they're all here I'm like, what do you mean they're all here and they're like they're all here God. So they bring back to the green room area like 16 people. By the way, by the way, if you could just put a pin in this, you are the worst person for this too. <laughs> like this is not your skill set is like, oh, keep going, keep going. Now you're going to love this. So... I go, oh, okay. So they bring back and these people one by one start coming in and they're like, oh, they're just <sighs> hugging you. <laughs> oh, and you're just like, oh, yeah, they're like, nachos. <laughs> so they're like, uh, hey, so it was great to be, you know, at this show. And I was like, yeah, thanks. You had a good time. And you, by the way, they were like, they weren't like, we had the best time. They were like, it was all right. I was like, <laughs> my cup of tea. Yeah. And they're like, everyone likes different things, I guess. So I'm like, cool. <clears throat> so what's up and they're like well so you wore that shirt on i, I must have wore it like on comedy central or something uh, and i was like oh my god right and they're like and that was um like our son and i was like what and they're like the shirt and i go is was your son they're like yeah it was the shirt was made in memoriam of him and he died and uh, he loved their shirts too. And so like, how did you first learn about him? And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my God. You just saw a child on a shirt and you're like, dope shirt, son. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Well, it Who's, was a, this? Who's this? Natalie Holloway? Who's uh, she? <laughs> it was a cool shirt. <laughs> I was just like, I'll wear that shirt. I didn't even think about it. And they oh were like, God. it's a memorial shirt. And I was like, oh, fuck. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. So, and I was respectful, you know, obviously I was like, 
So that, but the one time she was like, so what, like, what did you know about him? And I was like, <laughs> they made him in an XL. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, um, yeah, I was, uh, I like, uh, I just, I, I, I made it up on the spot. You know, I go, I, I knew the him, how much he liked their shirts. So I was like, <laughs> oh my God. And you oh. can tell that they were like, oh, okay. Um, they were black. So it's a black kid. Yeah, it's a black kid, Tom. I thought it was an athlete. That's why I got the shirt. So I thought, I thought it was a Penny Hardaway shirt, and I got it. And you're like, oh, I'm a big fan of James Worthy. <laughs> no, they were, they, dude. Look, they were, they were nice. You could tell that there was a definitely a miscommunication from like seeing love, the shirt. I love that you go. The family's here to see you, and you're sitting in that small Columbus Funny Bone. Improv yeah. gr green room and the clumps come in, the fucking just, oh my god! So wait, I want to see the shirt. Do they have the? You know what we should do. Uh, here's the thing. By the way, I I was super nice to them. Obviously, yeah. I didn't I mean, but I had no idea I was buying a fucking memorial shirt. No, no idea. It's like my whole fifth grade year. I wore women's clothes to school and I didn't even know it. Why? Because they just fit. They just fit, and then someone. Why were they like, getting them for you? I oh, know they weren't. I would go into my parents' closet to get a shirt. They haven't sent it yet. Just so they haven't sent it. They'll send it. They'll send it. Okay. Maybe she's sending them to me. You'll both get activation emails. Um, they, sh they. I just go into my. Um, yeah, they haven't sent it yet. I just go into my my parents' closet, and I would pick a shirt, and I was wearing my dad's shirts at one point, and they were too big, and then I found these shirts that fit, and they were blouses, and it was like kind of when that was cool to wear like blousey stuff. And I, but I, and then I noticed all the buttons were on the other side, and and then someone was like, "Hey, where did you get? Where, where are you? Is that like a woman's shirt?" And I was like, "No." And they're like, "Is that a pirate shirt?" And I was like, "Huh?" And I was like, "Yeah, this is a little blousey." It was like sixth grade, seventh grade is when I was wearing women's clothes to school. But yeah, for a whole year, for uh, oh, for an entire year. But yeah, I, and so I, I the, given going back to giving this girl my number, I said to this lady, I said, "So what are the shirts for?" And she said, "We have bar breast cancer," and I went, "Oh." And I was like, okay. And then, you know, you're trying to get out of the hole and you're like, but you're okay now, right? She's like, no. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, it really? She was like, yeah, it's, it's actually, I'm, I'm, I just went, we thought we were in, I was in remission, but I've got it again. And I was like, okay. I was like, cool. And then I was like, um, give me your number. Go, do you want to do a shot? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, can you do shots? And she goes, I have cancer. I mean, it's going to kill me. So yeah, I might as well. And I was like, oh, Okay. So then I bring her up stage and I was like, and we go to do a shot. And I was like, how bad is it? She's like, it's pretty fucking bad. And I was like, really? And so then I gave her my phone number that night. I was like, listen, if you ever get really down, I'll give you my phone number. If you ever down, call me. And then I, I'll just talk to you until you feel better. She was like, okay. And we, this, we were in the new house by this time or in our house at this time. And she called one night and I answered it. And it, it, was, it was saved, I think, woman with cancer. And I was you like, saved it as woman with cancer. Yes, yeah, so I knew. So I wasn't going to be like, "Hello, who the fuck? What breast cancer?" Click. So and then I ended up talking to her, and I talked to her for so long that she was like, "Listen, I gotta go." And then she she hung up on me. That is totally going to be you. Oh, on that's going to be me. Yeah. If you guys call me at my text me at my phone number, which is three two two three two three two zero eight zero eight four four, then you'll be shocked at how uh, how much I I you know so. Funny, Can you my, give out a different number before? No. I give a, you have one and I have one. Oh, okay, but that was the same number? 323-208-0844 is Bert. All right. I'm excited for this. This is going to be fun. What if this is the new MySpace? MySpace burned to the ground. So Bobby Kelly got me on this thing called got me on this thing called um, Say Now back in the day. Yeah. And it was like Dane was on it. Bobby was on it. Um, Bill, I don't want to say Bill Burr was on it. And you'd... Give out the number and then people will call it. And then you got their you got their number. How bad would Bill be at this if if they're like give out your he'd be like hey I want to connect with my fans. Oh my god, <laughs> fucking horrible! But I would just call this number and you could leave them voicemails. Uh -huh. So all of a sudden their phone would ring, and they'd answer it and they'd get a voicemail. And dude, so many people fucking unfollowed me that on that so quickly because I get drunk at two in the morning, and be like, "What's up, fuckers? <laughs> I got some big thoughts," and I just rant. I do a podcast by myself into their phone. Yeah, and people would call and be like, "Hey, man, listen, dude, I just saw you once at a club. I signed up for this stupid number. Please take me off the fucking list. I got to work in the morning." <laughs> yeah, so get ready, guys. It's gonna be a blast. Text yeah. me, text Tom. We're gonna chit chat. 
text Whitney Cummings. Text B Diddy. Diddy. Who else? Um, somebody else. Diddy. Who else did we find on it? Uh, Joe Coy's on it, I think. Joe Coy's on it. Yeah. Celebrity comedians. Right. Yeah, like us. We're yeah. celebrity comedians. We're celebrity comedians. Would you ever do like a celebrity like golf tournament or boxing match or something? Um, I don't know, man. I don't think so. I would. I would do a golf tournament in a heartbeat. I don't play golf though. Oh, what about what if what about this? Would you do when they do the um when they do the Formula One racing down in yes. Long Beach? Would you do that? Adam yes. Carolla does that. Yeah, I do that. Ooh, that's oh oh that would be fun as fuck. So wait a minute. Recap: What I have you done class wise in the last week for Sober October? Um, I, th I think I haven't done anything new. I've done spearfishing, tactical training, surfing, that hot sweat. Wait, you didn't do spearfish before the last one, did you? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh. I had spearfish before the oh, last yeah. one. Okay, dude. Now I'm holding, doing holding my breath things. I've been online, yeah, doing these. Um, they're called something charts, where you your O2 charts, where you just try to get the oxide in your blood and just feel uncomfortable for as long as you can. I held my breath for a minute thirty today. That's pretty good, dude. I'm fucking getting really good at holding my breath. I know that's a silly thing. I once was was looking. Wait, how do you practice? What do you do? Just I mean, hold your breath. That's it. Yeah, that's all you can do. Well, you can. What I'm saying is there a, is there a something that they advise you to do to, to do to increase it? Yeah, hold your breath and walk. Okay. Like and so that gets your body like see how like you're supposed to like I did um Adjust kettlebells to, uh -huh. kettlebells but a uh, farmer carry yeah so farmers walk and try to walk a hundred meters with the kettlebells in my hands. Nice. Yeah, and then I and then I've been swimming back and forth in my pool back uh, to see how long I can go underwater. But then, but the real thing is these charts, and I, I think I fucked them up. I have the app on my phone, but you're just supposed to like, you know, that part. Apparently, the part where you feel like you're gonna die when you're holding your breath. Yeah. You can less. You can live there for like forever. What? Yeah. That that doesn't mean anything. When you hold your breath and you feel like you're gonna die. That doesn't mean anything. That's apparently like really good. I'm, I haven't read, I don't follow through with all the things, so I don't do all the research, but yeah, that's like the best part of holding your breath. Something like that. Something like that. I I'm wonder if a get, doctor would say the same thing. I'm trying to get that's us. That's like a, the best part when you feel like you're going to die. <laughs> it's good for you. I'm trying to get us a spearfishing trip off Catalina, me, you, and Joe. Do you want a jet ski there? A hundred percent. They offer that. To jet ski to Catalina? Yeah. I would do that in a heartbeat. I'm, I follow. The, I think the company is called Jet Ski to Catalina. I, I follow them on Instagram. You know, I wanted to take a jet ski from Mexico to Tampa. In 2009, when I that's did my that's way further than okay. It's all about chase boats. I wanted to get. I wanted to get a jet to promote my 2009 Comedy Central special. Yeah. I told them I wanted to do a special leading into my special where I took a jet ski live and we put it online. We aired it like it's commercial breaks on the on. On like that all that day leading up to my special and we took a jet ski from I just literally went out rented a jet ski in Mexico and just started going to Tampa hmm. and they passed look and then Kurt Braunholer you can really jet ski to Catalina yeah that's, a, that's the name of a company shut the fuck they're up they're called jet ski to Catalina I could do that in a heartbeat hey uh, jet ski to Catalina we want to document our trip jet skiing to Catalina how long do you think it takes to jet ski to Catalina? Can't be that long. Is that a long beach? I mean, you're ripping going there, right? 30, 40 miles an hour? Fucking at least. To see fucking sharks everywhere. It's awesome. I swam with great white sharks off of Catalina. I, uh, I flew a plane last week. Oh, wait, wait. Tell me about that. So fun. For real? Yes. So have you been doing the classes? Yeah, but those are, that's a class. That's one of the classes. The whole wait, concept this year was like, you can sign up for any class that's yeah, new. Yeah, no, no, or... no, no. I meant, I meant, have you been taking... Oh, no, no. That was my first one. That was my first the one. The very first time they let you fly? Immediately. And I was like, so we're going to do some classroom training first. He's like, no, we're not. And I was like, what are we going to do? He's like, you're just going to fly. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And like, I go, so what now? He's like, I mean, just take over, man. I go, are you going to tell me what to do? And Shut uh, up. Yeah. So, he's like, you don't learn how to skin a fish by talking about it. Let's yeah, do it. Let's do it. Shut the fuck up. And then he was up. like, and as, as soon as we, you know, he showed me the foot pedals to actually drive on the ground. Then we got to the runway. He's like, I'll control the foot pedals on the runway. You do Is the he yoke. behind you? No, he's next to me. Right next to you. And he's got his own controls too. So he's like, if you're fucking something up, I'll take over the controls. And I was like, okay. So I took off. I flew around. I banked. I went out to the ocean. I dipped down to 700 feet, flew over Malibu, over like off the coast. Are you serious? Banked back around, flew over the hill, back into Van Nuys. 
And then the thing that I thought was crazy was, so we're, we're approaching Van Nuys. Van Nuys, the, uh, the strip is on, on my left, right? And uh, we're flying, uh, a, like, what's it, perpendicular to it, right? Yeah. So I go, uh, should I bank and head towards it? He goes, I leave it up to your discretion. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to go for it. And he went, so Permission I bank, for a flyby. Yeah, I bank, and now I'm leading up to the runway. In my mind, I'm like, well, landings are the most It's where everyone dies. So I'm like, this is where he'll be like, I got it from here. I'm like, so should I keep flying? And he's like, yeah. And I go, all right. And he's like, and he's giving me verbal guy. He's like, he's like uh, nose down a little bit. Why don't you pull off the uh, power a little bit, go down to like 40% and a little bit lower and point that nose down a little more. Now we're approaching. I'm like, are you letting me land the fucking Shut plane? Shut the fuck up. Now we're on the approach and I'm like, we're right over trees. I mean, I'm like, I, <laughs> like I'm like, <laughs> so as we're actually now ap approaching the strip, I'm like, there's no way this fucking guy is going to be like, just land. Yeah. So as we're like coming down though, I feel it because the, the yokes are connected, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So I feel him. I'm like, oh, fucking thank God. So he doesn't tell me to let go. He's like, he's like, no, no, no. He just kind of does it with, but he's obviously like in control now. Yeah. And he lands. And I was like, Jesus, man, I thought you were going to let me fucking land. Oh my God. What kind of plane was it? It was an SR-22 Turbo. Can you pull one of those up so I can see it's it? It's a Cirrus, C-I-R-R-U-S. I would love SR twenty two turbo. Oh, shut up! Yeah, one of those. Yeah, hit hit images. Yeah, there you go. That's oh my it. God. Yeah. It was that really is cool. So fucking oh, how do and and so are you are you gonna take all the lessons and learn how to fly now? I kind of want to, man. I, I really enjoyed oh, it. It's kind of nice, and then you know how you'll die. Yeah. It's like going, well, I'm a smoker. That's how I'm going out. Yeah. I, I fly planes. That's what I do. You think John Denver was drunk when he crashed his plane? I don't know. Is that how he died? Yeah. He crashed his plane in Santa Monica in the ocean. He did? Yeah. They say drunk. These, uh, these have a parachute in the plane. The plane has a parachute. Isn't really? That wild. Yeah. So right here, there's a lever. And if you're anywhere above 400 feet you could pull it and a parachute comes out of the top of the Do you plane know how often i use that parachute? by the way he tells me we're about to take off and he's like there's a parachute like built into the plane for the plane i was like oh yeah yeah okay cool he goes so if i have a heart attack something happens to me uh you know where it is and i'm like all right and he goes i go just pull the parachute he goes look for like he goes like a good area and then just pull it there i'm like what's a good area <laughs> yeah 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 define good area yeah. fuck face <laughs> holy like, shit. shit he like, goes nothing's gonna happen i got a poor diet but nothing's gonna happen he's, so he's like if i have a heart oh i never even thought about that you go yeah. over that guy and be like if i have a heart attack he's like oh. keeled over you're like mayday mayday <laughs> hey, this is tom segura sure it is no no i'm serious <laughs> my guy just had a heart attack get off the phone horn castle <laughs> yeah so that God, is... that's so fucking awesome how many yeah. hours do you have to f fly before you can just take planes out and fly them yourself. Like 25 hours? No. Yeah. Doesn't take serious? long. Yeah. You're not going to get like instrument ratings and stuff, but like you want to have a person, like a private pilot's license. It doesn't take that much. Dude. Yeah. That's the way I could stay sober. I also went to a Porsche driving experience and got in with the chief instructor uh, to do a manual like race course. That was uh, one of my classes. Holy shit. What car did you drive? I did a... I did the car that I have, but the manual version, yeah. right? The the Cayman GTS, the, but the 718, the newer version. Pull and, it up, uh, pull it up. Come on, Nadav. Yeah, look up 718 GTS. Um, really, really fun car to drive. Yeah, just like that. It's fun, really fun. But the fun thing is doing it. Like, you think you know how to drive. Everybody kind of does. Yeah. And then when you hit a track with a pro, like guys who have raced for their life, yeah, and they start telling you where to turn, where to give power, where to back off. So like, he's just riding shotgun, telling you what to yep. do. Yep, he's like, he's like, drop it down a second. He's like, throttle, throttle, throttle. And then he's like, break, 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 break. And then he's like, come out here. Like the, you're turning in here. You should be turning from this point. Like giving you exactly how to drive. Then we got into a look this up. Look a uh, GT3 RS. 
Yeah. We got it one of those. Whoa. And uh he uh he ru- he ripped that shit. You drove with him? He he drove. He was like, "Check this shit out." <laughs> and, oh my god! Yeah, uh, that's two hundred fifty three thousand dollar car. Yeah, <laughs> shut nuts. the fuck up! It's I nuts. wish I was into cars. Joe has one of those. Joe has that car. It has a GT three RS. Yeah, but like what what like what do you? I mean, like what do you do with it? You just wait till you get, everyone goes to sleep and then drive it on the highway. I mean, you ideally you should take you really should take it to a track. Has he ever taken his to a track? I have no idea. Um, but also it's just so fun to drive that. There's so much power. It's based this is a like a street legal race car, those are. That's I we I had a Corvette for uh like a week. And I, I'm I'm not a car guy, but the uh, Camaro people or whatever the that company uh, that uh, makes Corvette, Chevy. Yeah. They were like, Hey, do you want to have a Corvette for a week? And we were like, Yeah, sure, why not? Dude, it was so much fun to drive. See that but that's it was why. so much fun to drive. But then I was like, I'd be an idiot that bought a Corvette. Like, and everyone says, oh, you don't buy a Corvette. Like, you buy a fucking Ferrari or... No. Why can't you buy a Corvette? They're fun cars. Have you seen know. the new ones? No. Pull it up. Dude, look up, the, look up the 2020 um, Corvette. It looks like... A, look at that, that first image there. Oh, yeah. shit. It looks like a Ferrari. That's a beautiful car. Yeah. And look at the price. It's fucking like... They start at 62 or 55 or something. Really? Yeah. It's an amazing ride. We went, uh, we went and looked at. Click that image below it. Look at that. Oh my God. That's beautiful. Kind of looks like an NSX. It kind of looks like a 458 Ferrari. It's a fucking Corvette. Yeah. But what do I look like in that? Like if you, you saw look me like in that, guy... you'd be like, oh, how, how little is his dick? No. Midlife crisis, Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd? Yeah, I'm watching a new movie with Paul oh. Rudd where he's going through a mental uh, You don't think that looks fucking amazing? It looks amazing. I just don't, like, I, I, I just don't, I'm picturing myself in it. Yeah, but no one knows it's you until you get out. No, everyone knows. You. When you drive that car, everyone fucking looks at you. When you drive a Corvette, everyone looks at you. It's amazing how many people look at you and go like this. Ugh. Yeah. That's all I got when I had a Corvette. Really? Oh my God. Where were you God. driving it to? Just everywhere? Everywhere. I loved that car. I had so much fun. I'd wake up they in the morning. They just hit you up and were like, do you want a car? Yeah. You want to ride a Corvette for And this is before social media. This is like before, like not before social media, but before I was on social media. And so like I, I now I bet I could definitely get a Corvette. Hey, what's your take on advertising on Instagram? Like if mean? someone wanted to pay you, say like, like, I don't know, like some to post something on Instagram, would you do it? I guess it depends. Depends on what they wanted me to post and how much they were paying me to post it. Okay, good, good. Why? Eh, just wondering. What's your take? <sighs> I'm all for it. <laughs> Are you getting approached? Yeah, I got, I'm starting to get approached. Once I hit a million, yeah, people start hitting me up, going like, "Hey, man, would you be interested in advertising our product?" And I'm like, "But I mean, it, it depends on the product for sure, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter at all." It's well, it's about abortion. They want me to be pro-abortion. Yeah, and it's not like a million dollars. Tell everyone, great. yeah, get abortions. Yeah. Like, well, whatever. All right. That sounds hey. fine. No, I, uh, yeah, I started getting approached. As soon as you had a million, it's crazy. Do you know, like, people at, like, with, like, 50,000 people on Instagram that follow them consider themselves influencers? Yeah. Isn't that fucking insane? I know. And delusional as shit? No email from her, even though she texted. She group texted us. Yeah. Maybe she's not in a rush to get, maybe she her rush was to get us our phone numbers. Um, I'm gonna call her. Yeah. All right, guys, we're calling Molly. Oh, should we Facetime her? Whatever, you, whatever you want. Oh, what kind of Facetime her? What color hair do you think she has? Blonde, curly. There's right? a picture of her right there. Oh, how do you have a, how do you have her full name? She's one of my friends. She's not gonna Facetime is a, a Facetime from that, someone you don't. Oh, hey Molly. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, yeah, 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 but we're we're not showing you. Um, we're trying to guess what you look look like. Hi. Here's Tom. Hi, Tom. How are you? Here, Tom has a lot of questions he wants to ask hey, you. So here, put her by the mic so people. Can oh yeah. Her. So we're super excited to connect with our fans, and <laughs> <laughs> we haven't gotten the we're 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 going to put this show out soon, but we haven't gotten the links. Like we got we got the emails. No. Mm, right. we, we got we got the 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 email that says like. Um, I'll tell you what we got. We got the one that says, welcome to community. But that's not enough, right? Or is that it? Yeah, that's enough. That's it. You just click the link that says, get the app. Get the app. Okay. 
and then that's it and it's like sign in here yep you just create a username and password and then as soon as the app downloads you'll use that username and password that you created to log into that app and then you're ready to go you be thick boy one i'll be thick boy two okay all right. Uh, he's, he's, he's telling me things uh, that we're going to do on our app. Okay. Well, hey, and you got, you got okay. Tom's. Go ahead, Molly. When you get into the app, you're going to be able to go into settings, and that's where you can adjust your contact card photo. You can record a voicemail. You can adjust that welcome messaging. So that auto reply that Diddy sent, he actually wrote that himself. Am I allowed to use Black Excellence also, or is that just him? Uh, I'd ask him. Okay. Well, I can text him because now I have his number. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. Call me if you have any other questions. Okay. Link should work to let you each create your own username and passwords. And I don't think I don't think we'll want to change. We won't want to change our photo IDs. No, no. Don't change your photos. They're really good. You set up photos. It's the most flattering photo I've ever seen of you, Tom. Oh, that's really nice. Tell Ashton I said hi. Wait, okay. do you know Ashton? Of course. You actually know Ashton Kutcher? I introduced community to Ashton Kutcher. Oh, shut up. up. I'm the reason this all happened, guys. So wait, okay. Um, does he still look beautiful? Yeah, even though he shaved his mustache. I think he looks better with a mustache. He had a mustache? Does he? Can you tell that he's aging at all? Not really, no. For real? For real, it's crazy. Wait, ask her one thing. What's the part you said you can adjust things in? Where do you adjust it? Once you get the app and log in, you go to settings. Just click the little like three bars at the upper left hand corner and you'll see settings. Do I do step one or step okay. step one view in the app store? Uh, step one view in the app store. Do you have test flight downloaded on your phone, Tom? Yeah. yeah. Great, then yes, view in the app store it should, is what it should be. Or just get the app. It should just start the download. Hmm. What you need to do is go into the meeting tomorrow, Molly, and be like, be like uh, Oh, this is the part I want. Uh, what do I put in here? Here, redeem code. It says redeem your code. No, okay, sorry. So go back into the email. Oh my yeah. god, we're doing a podcast where we're basically setting. It's fine, up. it's fine. <laughs> and go back into the email, and when you click the button that says get the app, it should start the app download on your on your home screen. Let me know if it doesn't. Hey, no. So how often do you see Ashton? Uh, it used to be almost every day. Whoa, how to... beautiful is that? It's nice. Our offices were like directly across from each other. He has a treadmill desk, just like walking on it all day long. How, how much do you think he weighs? Uh, like a hundred. A hundred. Yeah, stop there. Stop there. A hundred. A hundred. Shut up. Does hey. he? Is he? Is he? As he ages, is he getting smarter? I think so. Do you think? Does He's he use the time in? Does he say bro at all? Occasionally. Occasionally he says bro. Is this how does your brain drink? works? Shut up, shut up. Does he drink? <laughs> Not much. I know that he has. A, I. I mean, I interviewed him one time, and he was talking about he liked to build decks and have Heinekens. Yeah, I mean, I, we've had drinks together, but no. He, he, Does he, he doesn't get drunk and say inappropriate shit. No. Fuck. Okay, Molly. Molly, Fuck. one more question about Ashton. Um, will you go into the meeting tomorrow and go, guys? Big news. We just landed both bears. No, you don't understand. Our engineers in Slack right now are freaking out. Oh, for real? I, I, I put your names in. I submitted you guys for numbers, and our engineers are like, "Oh my god, we got Bert and Tom." Oh my god, they're freaking out. <laughs> Wait, who's the who's the biggest client you guys have in your opinion? And you can't be Ashton. Uh, I mean, Jennifer Lopez is pretty. pretty J Lo. J Lo. J Lo is so fucking hot. I heard no she was an know. asshole. To uh... yeah, J Lo and I have a funny history. Oh. Ooh. Tom has a question about J-Lo. My bus driver said she was an asshole. <laughs> Wait, you know what's so funny? Uh, my bus driver said the same thing. She's she yeah. very sweet to me the times that I've interacted with her. No. Uh, yeah. She's also like more beautiful in person than in She interview. is so she's fucking like hot. She is she so... Like, a, like she glows. Her aura is gold. Okay, Tom has another fucking question about... Look, I got a question, Molly. I keep yeah, getting this. I, it just says... Step one, get test flight. View an app store. What am I supposed to do? Um, oh, so you, you already have test flight. I'm looking at test flight no, right here. It's on my son. phone. Is that your son? Yeah. It's, you, oh. it's a very cute photo. Um, did you already um, create a username and password or that hasn't happened yet? I just did it, yeah. You just did it. So then 
Let me just text you guys the link to download directly the app. One second. Oh, okay. Okay. While you do this, do you know Mila at all? I do. Mila's even better than she is Mila and Ashton. For real? Yes. Hey, will, yes. will you do me a favor? Will you put the machine story in front of Mila because she's Russian and, this, yeah. and, just, and just be like, hey, I thought you'd like this. It involves your people. Uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, just be like, yo, I, it's a funny thing about Russian things, and I thought you'd like it. And then be like, and then be like, is it just me or is this guy cute with his shirt off? And then just see what she says. And then you have my number. Obviously, text me and I'm let me know. Send her your contact card photo that you sent me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Send her yeah. Tom's too. <laughs> Tom, did you get the link? Click on that directly, and it should start the download on your phone. Hmm. Where did you go to college? Yeah. Where did I go to college? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait let's guess. I'm going to guess USC. Tom, what do you guess? Stanford. Oh, she's Silicon Valley for Silicon sure. Silicon Valley. Where did yeah. you go to school? Harvard. 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 Hey, can I ask you something, Molly? Do you kind of feel like, yeah. are you like, is it like a quiet flex every time you get to say Harvard? You know what I mean? You know what? It's one of these things where it's like kind of embarrassing each time. You want to meet the CEO of community? This is Matt. Yo, what's up, Matt? What's up, you dickhead? Hey, 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 Matt, where did you, Matt, where did you go to college? Uh, I went to RIT in Rochester, New York. <laughs> Molly went to Harvard. <laughs> yeah, what's up there, dum dum? Hey, how you guys doing? We're doing Good. great. We're, we're, do you have any questions about Ashton Kutcher? Uh, no, I'll just text him. It's cool. Don't worry you have his it. number? Community, duh. Oh, yeah, community, yeah. Community. All right, I'm going to start fucking hounding Ashton. Be like, yo, bro, I'm in your neighborhood. Let's hang. <laughs> hey, man, I got my swimsuit in my back of my trunk. I want to I wanna go swimming. I think that dude's literally responded to like 12,000 people directly. He's an animal. Yeah. Uh. Crazy. What's the... Hey. Can I ask you something? Yeah. I mean, what is the fucking point? Like... <laughs> Do you get anything out of it other than like, oh, hey, I'm connecting with some fucking fuckhead fan? Like, is there any point to it? Talk in your microphone. <laughs> well, um, you know, I think about like, um, you know, why, why did you just create a podcast? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I just, I, I just logged in and I just got to see my profile <laughs> picture. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's great, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's great it's great social media is continuing the conversation with your fans that you want to have with the people you have, i like like if jeff tweedy if you guys can get wilco on this and there's a way i can connect with jeff tweedy do you, you why oh because i'm an old oh, because i'm a dad are we talking about dad rock right now yeah <laughs> okay maybe we'll get uh the uh i'm trying to think of also who i love fish Fuck. Oh, you're making fun of me now. I didn't realize that. Yeah. And hey, guy, by the way, I saw Dave Matthews recently, and he still holds up. Okay. I FYI. Love it. <laughs> Where are you guys in? Santa Monica? Yeah. Bye bye. Hey, right. guys. I actually really appreciate it. I signed up. I'm on now. I'm going to pump it. Black excellence. Um, yeah, think about it as you now owning the relationship with your audience rather than Facebook owning it or Twitter owning it or Google owning it. Yeah. It's just you. Okay, sure. I'll ask her, Tom. Tom wants to know, can he send dick pics? Matt? Um, Tastefully said. Tasteful. Tastefully. Like Dick Cheney or like... Yeah, like yeah, Nixon? yeah, yeah. Just different dicks. Good call. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> hey, uh, I, you know what we would love? We would love to have Ashton come on Two Bears, One Cave and talk about this app if he's interested. All right, we'll text him about it. Yeah. Or Mila. Actually, we'd rather Mila if we could. <laughs> Are you guys in LA or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're like, we're actually in the building next to you guys. Look over. Yeah, 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 look over, you're right. <laughs> Don't knock on the door. <laughs> <Window across the alley. laughs> yeah. All right, we're, gonna, we're doing a podcast. We'll call you guys later, okay? Okay. Go All Harvard. Right. Go All Harvard, right. I went to FSU. Um, Molly's cute. Yeah, she's very cute. Really cute. She would sw she would run circles around me on a first date. You like, got to be a nightmare. If we went on a first date, do you realize how out of my league I'd be with talking to a girl? Like I mean, that? I feel like the phone call was a good summary of that. Yeah, that I just hounded her about Ashton. I'd do that the whole first date. You is that is that what you were like to Leanne? No, I don't remember. 
Leanne and I went to a gay restaurant on our first date. What do you mean? It was a gay restaurant. Like Lorenzo set us up, and he didn't want he didn't want us to it to work. So because he, he liked her. Yeah, he had That's a right. car center too, and so he sent me to a gay restaurant, thinking that would like uh. throw my game. But Eddie Izzard was there, and I was watching Eddie Izzard the whole time. We just talked about Eddie Izzard the whole time. Who's that? Eddie Izzard's a guy. He ran like a hundred marathons. He's a, oh, that guy. He's the cross dressing. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I think I don't know if that's a hate crime, but. Hate crime. I don't know. It, what, I can't I don't even know what to say anymore. But he's the guy that dresses like a girl. That's right. I think he's trans. I now, don't think he's transgendered. No, now, now Eddie, go go to the wiki, Wikipedia. Go back. Kind of interesting, you know. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to throw shade towards Eddie Izzard, but it's kind of interesting because he just looks like a mom. Yeah. Like he does. Like I, I, you know, at that age, I'd be like, I guess I'll just be a guy, because I'm I, I'm not gonna look like a hot chick. Yeah, fifty-seven. Yeah, now it actually it looks like a friend's mom. Yeah, it looks yeah. like he's like lives in Wisconsin. Yeah, and you you kind of want to like be a like you know uh, friend's mom. Like your mom kind of looks like a guy a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks like he'd be at a Republican convention, mom. Like he'd be like, well, now Eddie's running for office too. Shut up. Yeah, scroll down, scroll down. Dude, he's an interesting fucking guy. He. See, campaign for various causes. He ran forty-three marathons in fifty-one days. Unfucking with no real. history of long distance running. That is fucking insane. I ran six miles today, and I've been working out great. Imagine like, you on a date with Eddie. How fucking that intense would that be, dude? He. Um, well, okay, wait. Click personal life. Click five. Um, I think he's. Is he transgendered or just like? Yeah, it says is it is transgender right there. Right. So wait, does, scroll more. Calling himself somewhat boyish, somewhat girlish. But he's been doing this for years, and it wasn't a stunt. I think a lot of people thought it was a stunt, like to get ticket right. sales. You know, like the way someone would take their shirt off or whatever. Nothing about dating, though. He doesn't. You know, I think you can be transgendered but still date. No, no, I'm just saying no. Right? Hate, like no, there's no thing like he has, identifies as a transvestite. Oh, in 1992. So wait, is transvestite a word you don't say anymore? What's the definition of transvestite? Oh, shit. Google transvestite. I'm curious. Because that was what the word was when I was a kid, right? Yeah, it was. But is like. it because it's the vite makes it sound like a hate crime? Uh, that they got rid of it? Look, it looks like it's dressing primarily. Yeah, you can, you can actually say it. Oh. You just oh, yeah. kind of worded it to yourself. Do you want to say it out loud now? Yeah, yeah. A person. Typically a man. Jesus Do you Christ. ever do those SM SSMRs? I don't like that shit. It doesn't do anything for me. How about Dr. It's annoying. Popper? That I like a lot. But sometimes I want to puke. Uh-uh. Dude, Never? I could. You're so I, gross, though. Can I tell you? That fucking holes on the foot thing. I want to fucking kill myself when oh I see Oh, my that. God. I have been obsessed with Dr. Pimple Popper. She, <laughs> If I could get her to give me a blackhead so she'd extract it, I'd do it. Really? In a heartbeat. Do you do you pop pimples? Like, do you take your time with it and really look at watch it? I don't it? get pimples ever. Never. Why do you like the holes on the hands? I have it? no fucking idea. Oh my god! I just found mango fly bites in dogs. Type in mango flies. Oh, do you know fuck. what this is? Oh my god! This is this is my mango worm. Is that it? Oh my god! Oh my god! Go to the popping. Go to the popping. Oh my god! This fucking video i watched this video this is my obsession it's that thing in real life mango worm removal oh my come on play it what are you waiting for it off mango worm removal oh my god look at this tom tom it leaves the holes i'm I talking feel about fucking sick. oh this is the greatest thing ever i watched this in the car or in the bus yeah just go right there watch watch what is this these are in a dog. And what happened? Just, and he got bit by a mango fly, I think, and it leaves worms. All right. And then, and then watch, but wait, watch. First of all, this guy's not wearing a fucking glove. He's from South. Look at that. It leaves all the holes that I was talking about. She's wearing a glove. She's, She's super happy about brains. it, too. And there's, this is their dog, and they just come out from everywhere. All right. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, my God. Isla, I'm good. Isla and I were watching Dr. Pimple Popper together on, on YouTube. And we could not put it away. Tom, I went in and woke her up 
And I was like, there's one more. You got to see this one, Isla. Dude, I am obsessed with Dr. Pimple. Uh, okay. So um, I found the toe bro. Toe bro is the guy that does the same thing, but for feet. Dude, have you ever seen a corn removal? No. Oh, my God. I had a corn. I didn't even know it was a corn. I thought it was a planter's wart. And then I dug it out. One day I got out. You we were, dug it out? I dug it out. We went we went uh, catfish noodling, and I my feet were wet all day. And I got in the van. We were on, this is when I was on How do you get a corn? Uh, I think by moisture. No, I think it's it's a it's basically a callus, but it's it's in a place where you're not getting support on your foot. Yeah, and it just rubs and rubs and rubs, and it starts it it plants like a seed almost, and then that seed kind of forms this callus that's really painful. And so I had a corn on the to, on the front of my foot, like right like right here on my foot, and we went crabfish noodling, and I went and I, and my foot was like super super uh, pruned, and I just took a knife and dug it out. And I removed it myself. I thought it was a planner's wart. So I used to pull, try to pick out planner's wart. Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't like... I, that's a part of your personality I think that you're lying about. What do you think I'm lying about? That you don't smell things on your body and you don't like like dirty things? No, I, I do like dirty things, but like, I don't like... Do you like, get pimples? Yeah, but not like a crazy amount. But I, I do like it. I would enjoy... I enjoy popping a pimple. I enjoy like when you, when you see it and you get to go to the mirror and you fucking see it shoot out. I do like I, that. I told Georgia... And Isla and I were talking about best pimple pop ever. Do you have a, one pimple pop that stands out to you? Like I have two. Uh, fifth grade, one on my chin. And I, I was in the back in my mom's station wagon. And I had the mirror between my legs. And I squeezed it and it shot on the mirror. It was the first time a zit shot on a mirror. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I remember shooting the mirror. Does not hold a candle to a sophomore year in college. I had a pimple on the inside of my nose right in here. And it was so bad that it was swollen and I was having a hard time breathing. It was that swollen. And, I was, and you could see it was red on the outside cocaine? of my nose. Cocaine? What? Cocaine? Cocaine? No, induced? no, no, no. Oh. And so I grabbed it like this and I started squeezing it, seeing if I could squeeze it on the other side. And a hair shot out, just went doink. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I pulled the hair out, squeezed it, and it hosed the mirror. It went on the other side of my nose. Dude, if I could have one of those a month, I would be so fucking happy. Really? Dude, one time I lived with these two lesbians in New York and I still have a little hole on my back. <gasps> I got one like on my ass crack. And I went to a doctor and I was like, what's going on? And he was like, yeah, it's infected. Take this, this antibiotic. You had to take an antibiotic for a pimple? It was like a big fucking pussy thing. And uh, I was like, sensitive, it hurts. Well, I used... And I, I felt it building for a few days. And then I went to bed. And the next morning I woke up. Oh, can I? It had ruptured and dried. And your sheets were stuck to your ass? Well, my boxers were now crusty because the blood and the pus had oh. dried up on the boxers. But all the pain was gone. But I, I wish I could have seen it. But it was like. Oh, my God. It was pretty. It was pretty cool. See if I can find something similar to show you. Do you know a lot of those times I, I had I had a pimple on my ass crack when I was at the remember the time they said I threw up all over the walls and shit on the bed at the Cincinnati Funny Bone? Mm. At, yeah, at, tell at that same, story. That same weekend, I had a pimple on my tailbone, and I Googled it, and they're like, some people it's the, it's it's a tail, like some people are born with a tail. Yeah. And I was like, I was terrified. I was growing a tail all fucking weekend. But then it, I sat on the toilet too fast and it popped. What are you looking for? A picture of your... Yeah, something similar. On your tailbone? Yeah. No, I'll look for it later. Um, are you about to join? Did you download it? I haven't even started. Give it our numbers one more time. Have you, have you kept our... You just keep our numbers up the whole time. Have you already done that? And I'm just saying that, and that's been popped up all the whole time. I'll go download it right oh, yeah. now. Yeah, put put my phone number up, please. We've got almost a. Oh, welcome to community. Will you read them again? The phone numbers. Yep, our phone numbers. My are. mine's eight one eight two seven five 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 two six, and mine is three two three two zero eight zero eight four four. I bet Ashton's got like the best fucking number. Yeah, like. Two eight zero 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 zero. So, 
we're pretty much going to have Ashton Kutcher on our podcast. I think it feels like it's going to happen. I think we should make the exception to have a guest on this show. I know. We were just talking about that today. Yeah. We'll definitely have Ashton on. Here, let me um, record this for uh, uh, What's that for? Instagram. For Instagram. Oh, do it right. Instagram's quickly. still a thing? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were all on phone numbers now. Hey, guys. Uh, Bert and I are doing Two Bears, One Cave. You know, I've always wanted to find a way to connect with my fans more and i'm like how, how do i how do i stay connected to them you know you can text me i was just like i should i should give out my phone number you um and then that way all my fans can just text me when that 323-208 that's your number 0844 call me i'm at 818-275-5526 um, there's nothing it gives me more joy than, than the idea of texting my fans. 818-275-5526, <laughs> hashtag black excellence. What's up, Diddy? I'll hit you back in a minute. All right. I'm going to hit you back in a minute. You know, she didn't write that song. Really? did not that kind of bum you out? That song's so her. And then to think that some white Jewish kid wrote it. Some dude named Ari in the Minnesota Vikings. You're shirtless now. I know. I, so what are you amazing. down to? Uh, uh, below 2.30. You said 3.30 when you got I here. I know, because I'm so used to it. Oh. Yeah. Um, so here's something, just a reminder to people. If at the end of the month you're 205, you win Sober October. Yeah. Well, How I many can't... pages have you read? <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading a book on Uber and I'm about like maybe 40 pages in. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. I, all these reading. I just, I'm going to read the rest of it on the plane when I, on the plane to DC this weekend. Ooh, this weekend I'm in Virginia beach, Baltimore, Montclair, New Jersey, and Huntington, New York. I have a uh, Europe. Oh, uh, so if you want to come to a show, the only show left with tickets is Paris. And You're doing um, Paris, yeah, I'm doing a small place there. That's well, there's tickets available, and then <laughs> uh, London released tickets. There's only a few left for that show. It's a big show. Uh, you can get tickets to that. And then when I come back, November sixth, Kingston, New York. November seventh, New York City. The Late Show at the Beacon has tickets. November eighth, The Late Show uh, at Parks Casino in Ben Salem, and November tenth in Syracuse. And then it's on to tour or to special week. So, oh shit, yeah. My special is November twenty third. I'm thinking about adding two shows on the twenty fourth in Cleveland. So keep your eyes peeled if we add those shows. But yeah, I'm on. I'm You've on already the road. done like six there. What you already have? Like I have seven shows right now in Cleveland. Yeah, so you, I'm gonna think about two more. Two more. Yeah, but it's not that big of a theater. It's only like a thousand seats. And if you're doing a special, you got a bunch of kills. So it's yeah. not. It's actually right. fairly doable. This guy, look at this guy yeah. being all modest. Yep, and then, uh, yeah, I'm on the road, burtburtburt.com, Body Shots World Tour. And I, by the way, secret time, I am adding club dates on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Mondays in November. So check. In November? In November, I'm going to be doing stand-up every single day until my special. So, I'm going to hit you back in a minute. All right, there it is. Love you. Love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur protology. Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.